Listen to this. We want to be on the right side of history. <laughs> look, look, look. You can always be on the right side of history, but you can also end up on the wrong side of a bankruptcy. <laughs> Man, I showed this to my Ubisoft contact. What he said was, I didn't believe this to be true. This will hurt us. <laughs> Man, this is like the worst PR I have ever seen. There is no way you can look at this in a good light. Because what they are saying is that their community is so dangerous. It's such filled with criminal activity that they need the help of the British police officers. The, the police force needs to work with them in order to crack down the criminals playing Ubisoft games. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, stay away from Ubisoft games, kids. It's dangerous. Like, there's criminals. <laughs> yeah, right side of history filled with authoritarian and censorship. Oh, my God. I, I love the right side. You know, I always wonder, like, if this is the right side of history, how does the wrong side of history look like? Because I noticed the right side of history is filled with QR codes. Uh, it, it's filled with compliance, with censorship. I'm just curious, like, for one second, how does the wrong side of history look like? But yes, apparently, um, if you play Ubisoft games now, you can get arrested. Congratulate. First company ever, apparently. They're also proud with this. Look, 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 look. Uh, Damien Glorio, a senior director at Ubisoft Customer Center. We have millions of players and tens of millions of interactions, so how can we spot incidents? How many incidents are there? How many criminals are playing your games, uh, Damien? Damien, what are you doing? You know, maybe, just maybe you should focus on making better games. Can anyone tell me a memorable Ubisoft game that came out in recent years? I'm waiting. I can tell you, like, the last one that I think of that I really like was Prince of Persia. I really like that one. You know, it was a good game. I had to buy a new graphics card in order to play. But since then, what did we have? Uh, Splinter Cell? Is that Ubisoft? I think it's Ubisoft. Um, that's pretty much it, isn't it? I mean, their games, at best, at best, they look pretty. But they attract criminals, apparently, because they need the police officers in order to... Like, like such dangerous criminals. Like, look at this. Extreme cases. Holy shit. Extreme cases in their video games. And estimates that less than 0.01% of the complaints Ubisoft deals with will end up being referred to the police. The majority of players behaving in a toxic manner will continue to face the tried and trusted sanctions of having their accounts suspended. Man, how uh, did things work in my time? Like, I used to play Warcraft 3. There was absolutely no one you could call for help. It was you and the opponent. Very dangerous situation. You know, when you logged on, you could feel the danger in your room. Like, my mother was, was screaming. It's like, please stop playing that game. Why? It makes me feel unsafe. It's dangerous. What, what if they... What if Skullfuck47 says mean words to you? What if Skullfuck47 is going to say that he's going to fuck your mother? Like, what will I do in that situation? And I was like, no, shit. Like, yeah. we, need, we need trust and safety. We need, we need. Uh, but, apparently, it's not a gaming problem. It's an internet problem. Oh, shut the fuck up. Don't speak for other people. You know, like, I, I don't get that problem in my community. Not to mention, like, is this something that happens? Uh, li like, do the drug dealers and uh, all, all the nefarious people of society? Or, by the way, did you notice this? I, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Let, let's, let's back up a little bit. Did you notice something that is part of progressive ideology? Where, like, the drug dealer isn't the most dangerous person in the room? The most dangerous person in the room is the internet troll, motherfucker. You hear about the most dangerous person in the room and you think of him? No, you should think of me. No, but seriously, like in California, yeah, they apparently like people do drugs on the streets and stuff. Like that's not a problem, right? But like the internet troll. <gasps> the harm that he does when he opens his mouth and speaks. It's an internet problem. Said Ubisoft Andrew Holiday. They are agreeing with each other. Who works on the team that deals with cases of extreme behavior. Man, like... What type of criminal does this criminal activity on Ubisoft video games? Like, I, do, don't they have, like, IRC or other places where they can go? Like, when you're announcing that your place is monitored, they're just going to go somewhere else, assuming they're even there to begin with. I definitely, like, do not think that criminals gather around in, in, in the Ubisoft video game. It's probably shit like, I don't know, like, uh, insults, isn't it? And banter. That, that's what you're talking about. Holiday gives an example of a recent case in Norway. 
If the recent case is in Norway, why are you contacting the British police for help? Can anyone explain to me how these people think? Look at this. Gives an example of a recent case in Norway. Ubisoft teams up with UK police, huh? Can the UK police reach Norway? Can they? I, I thought it's the other way around. I thought the Vikings go to England, not the English go to the Vikings. Arch, Arch, why is there the, the recent case in your country? Things were said and behaviors displayed that hit our threshold for intervention. There was a threat to life or serious harm. The agreement with Northumbria. Police meant that we flagged it even though it, was, it wasn't a UK citizen. They were able to get the Norwegian authorities involved. It was a lot quicker, more efficient. Uh, oh, so basically it's like the UK police tells on the Norwegian police. Ah, I see. Okay, now I... Naruhodo. Naruhodo. Nowhere is safe, basically. What exactly did they do, though? I mean, dude, I, I've been playing video games since 2016. Like, what, what exactly did they say? And not to mention, okay, the police went in. Were they convicted? Because that's the important thing, right? Like, the police can arrest everyone for everything. But the question is, were they convicted? Were they charged? Policing changes continually demand evolve, and uh, we have different challenges at the time. Our job is to evolve with it. Yeah, okay. Uh, my job is to not play your fucking games, you authoritarian, moral busybodies. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, I'm paying money for a service. The last thing I want to do is, like, get reported to the cops. And I know I won't get reported to the cops. Because I don't even use the voice chat. I don't even play Ubisoft multiplayer game. But, like, the very thought... That you're like, how can we arrest our customers? Like, are you insane? Like, if someone gets a death threat online, they can call the cops themselves. You as a company shouldn't even think about doing that. The only thing you should think about is making better games. Like, the fact that I know you're investing money into this just baffles me. I have never heard, because I, I go on a lot of gaming forums, you know, and I've never heard on anyone. From Reddit to Twitter to 4chan to Discord, like, none of them are complaining, oh my god, like when I play Ubisoft games, and oh, I feel so unsafe. I never heard that. Ever. And not to mention, so, so like what? Like a Norwegian citizen threatened a British citizen? Is that what you're telling me? And the British citizen felt unsafe? Like what, did he thought that the Norwegian player is going to hop on a plane, travel all the way to the UK? I mean, the idea of shit-talking on the internet doesn't exist anymore? Like you're, you're telling me that you're taking everything seriously? Like there was another lady in... Uh, uh, the, the legislative uh, at a hearing in the United States. And she was saying how Trump said that he wants his tweets to be like little missiles flying off. And that lady concluded that uh, that is the weaponization of a platform. And I'm thinking like, holy shit, so these people do not understand metaphors. They do not understand jokes. They do not understand the exaggerations. They're like Drax from Marvel who takes everything literally. And unfortunately, it is the case. I would not allow my kid to play Ubisoft games. Seriously. Under no circumstance will my child be allowed to play Ubisoft games until he is 18. Okay, like when he is 18, can do whatever. Actually, not even when he's a under my roof, my rules. I never thought I would say that, but like seeing what Ubisoft is doing here, like the idea that they're they're going to put police officers to crack down on jokes and stuff. Absolutely not. Under no circumstance. You know, play something else that has a company that doesn't try to get their customers arrested. Holy crap, I, I would not support this at all. There are going to be excesses and abuses done by this. I guarantee to you. So, uh, yeah, no, like, if something bad happens to you in a video game, you should be the one calling the cops. Because you're the one that knows. It's like, okay, well, this is serious. I'm going to call the cops. That, that's understandable. But to have, like, the company decide to call the cops on your behalf, that's ridiculous. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.